Good morning, everyone. My name is Mario Jadis, and thank you for coming this morning. The topic for my informative speech today is preparing for your next interview. You're standing outside the building, feeling nervous and a bit queasy. You're thinking to yourself, am I ready? Do I look good? Do I need a mint? Then you recall a quote from Colin Powell you read in an online article on careerbuilder.com by Alina Dizik titled, Career Advice from Iconic Leaders. The quote reads, there are no secrets to success. It is the result of preparation, hard work, and learning from failure. Now you take a deep breath, you put your shoulders back, and you walk with confidence as you enter the building for your interview. How important is it to prepare for your next interview? In a survey I posted, more than half of the class answered that it's very important to prepare for your next interview. This is great considering, according to Darlene Zimbersky, who is a resume writing expert and a certified professional resume writer, she posted in an article on ResumeEdge.com the importance of being well prepared for an interview. Darlene states that many candidates mistakenly believe that being called in for an interview is being guaranteed a position. Nothing could be further from the truth. You might be the last person on a short list of candidates. Your skills, knowledge, and abilities are good, but not, perfect, but not a perfect match for the company. However, the hiring manager is interested enough to meet you and allow you to sell yourself to them. Among that survey were other questions such as, what is the average length of an interview? 50% of you answered that an interview lasts only 15 minutes. 30% answered it would last 40 minutes. And 20% answered that it would last 15 minutes. According to an article, Seven Things You Probably Didn't Know About Your Job Search, printed in Forbes, written by Jacqueline Smith, on average, an interview lasts 40 minutes. Mm. It could be one of the most pivotal minutes of your life, and how you prepare for it could make the difference in the world. The key word in that previous statement is prepare. Let me share with you a definition from MerriamWebster.com. Prepare to make yourself ready for something that you will. Excuse me. To make yourself ready for something that you will be doing, something that you expect to happen. Now think about that quote one more time from Colin Powell. There are no secrets to success. It is the result of preparation, hard work, and learning from failure. Each of us in here have to prepare for our speeches, right? We would all agree that the more time we put into preparing, the more confident we felt about our speeches. Over the next few minutes, I will, take you, I will cover three key aspects to help you prepare for your interview. We will review preparing for the interview, the interview, and your follow-up. This way, the next time you interview, you will have more confidence and feel more prepared. Success depends upon previous preparation, and without such preparation, there is sure to be failure. Confucius. Preparing for your interview. There are two key elements you should focus on when preparing for your interview. Learning about the company you are interviewing with, and preparing yourself. Why would you want to learn about your potential new employer? According to a blog posted by Heather Hoonan on Glassdoor.com, Researching employees is one of the best ways to become a standout candidate during the hiring process. Glassdoor is also a good place to read reviews from current and previous employees. If they are a public company, review their financials on websites like Yahoo Finance or CNN Money. Review the executives and members of the board's um, bios on the company's website. See if you happen to know anyone that works for the company. Are they an alumni from your school? Are you connected with them via LinkedIn or other social media? In an article written by Vernon Martin titled The On-Site Interview, Martin writes that to prepare for an on-site interview, you should know the company's products and services, financial picture, geographical locations, and culture. Now it's time to prepare you. Review common questions and practice your responses to them. Write them down and internalize them to pretend and internalize your responses to potential questions. Laszlo Block, Senior Vice President of People Operations at Google, claims, for every question, write down your answer. Yes, it's a pain to actually write something. It's hard and frustrating, but it makes it stick in your brain. There are many resources with lists of commonly asked questions during an interview. 
One resource that is helpful is collegegrad.com. Collegegrad.com shares a list of 10 tough interview questions and 10 great answers. Written by Brian Cougar, who is a best-selling author and former VP of Global Talent Acquisitions at Amazon.com. Some examples of questions you would want to prepare for are, tell me about yourself. Why should I hire you? Remember, practice makes perfect. You know all about the company you're interviewing with. You sat in front of the mirror for what seemed like days, asking yourself interrogating questions, and your answers are crisp and flawless. Now it's time for the real thing. It's interview day. You want to dress for success, which is something 100% of you agreed with when asked on my survey. Other considerations, according to Vernon Martin, who wrote the on-site interview, you should wear conservative colors and avoid excessive jewelry, flashy colors, excessive makeup, strong perfumes, and colognes. First impressions count, so, look so looking professional is equally important, but your demeanor is also important. An article posted by Harvard Business Review written by an Amy Gallo titled, Stand Out in Your Interview, suggests that first impressions matter. John Lee is a career strategist and author of The Interview Expert, How to Get the Job You Want in Job Interviews, Top Answers to Tough Questions, points to psychological research that shows that people form opinions about your personality and intelligence in the first 30 seconds of the interview. How to speak, how you enter the room, and how comfortable you look are really important. He says, People who perform best in interviews start off by speaking clearly but slowly and walk with confidence and think through what props they will carry so they don't appear over cluttered. This sounds familiar, right? Speaking clearly and slowly, feel confident. Go back to chapter 13 titled Delivery in our textbook, The Art of Public Speaking, and review the techniques in, spe in speech delivery. Although you're not giving a speech, you should still maintain that right posture towards eye contact, articulation, pronunciation, and the speed of your verbal communication. Journey interview. According to an online article written by Michael Higgins, Job Interview Preparation, an Essential Checklist, posted on The Guardian, during the interview, it's very easy to be so intently focused on giving a good interview that you forget that it's a two-way process. Make the interview more of a conversation between you and the interviewing manager. We'll look at that closer in a moment. And remember, the person you're meeting with should be the focus of your attention. Write an elevator pitch about yourself. Ellen Zimmerman discusses in an article in the New York Times titled, Want the Job? Do Your Homework? How could you use a 30 second to one minute summary of your academic career, your interest, and what you did outside of school and correlate that to the job you want. What should you ask? I briefly mentioned that your interview should be a two-way conversation. Here are some examples from a list of questions you can ask during your next interview. This was posted by Aaron Guerrero on US News' website. What have you enjoyed most about working here? Do you have any hesitations about my qualifications? Vernon Martin, who wrote the on-site interview, suggests be a good listener but certainly not reticent about asking penetrating questions. Some examples run in chairs are, if hired, would I be filling a newly created position or would I be replacing someone? Would you describe a typical work day and the things that I would be responsible for or accountable for? Then your interview wrap up. As the interview starts to wrap up, be sure you understand the process moving forward. What are your next steps? Vernon Martin, who wrote the on-site interview, suggests be clear as you end the day what the next steps in the process are for moving forward. You want to define this before the end of the interview. The interview's over. You take a breath, and now you're done. You spend plenty of time preparing for the interview and think to yourself, I killed it. You're done, right? No. Now you want to collect your thoughts and prepare your follow-up. Planning for your follow-up. It's time for your brain dump. Michael Higgins writes in his article titled Job Interview Preparation, an Essential Checklist. As soon as the as soon as the excuse me, as soon as after the interview as you can, find a quiet place and write down as many of the questions that you were asked as you can remember. Rank how you answered them on a scale from one to ten, 
Work on the answers in order of lowest to highest so that you can improve for future interviews. Now write that thank you letter. Your thank you letter is an opportunity to stand out from the crowd. Show your explicit interest in the job and ask other questions that you may have missed during the interview. Vernon Martin, who wrote the on-site interview, suggests send a handwritten thank you note and make it personal to those interviewed, that interviewed you during the process. The following steps I outlined may seem like an arduous task for an interview, especially if you have more than one. Keep in mind that the more prepared you are over other candidates, the better you will come across to the hiring manager. There is a saying called the seven P's used in the military, but certainly not exclusive to them. Proper planning and preparation prevents piss poor performance. Mm. Yeah.